got just a really beautiful character to it overall. Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today I'm going to be checking out the new Key Suite Acoustic by UVI. After 20 years in the making, this sample-based instrument has a massive collection of high-quality studio acoustic keyboards. UVI set out to put this collection together to be kind of your desert island keyboard library. Library downloads is 13 gigabytes. That is 55 gigabytes of WAV files with lossless FLAC encoding. It contains 20 acoustic sampled keyboards with 125 different presets. Concert grands from Model D's, Italian F278, a C7, a custom hybrid of Baby Grand, as well as upright pianos, pluck strings like harpsichords, clavichords, spinet, and a lunchet. Symbolo? I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and telephones like the press, clock spiel, bells, and uh, dulcitone are also included. The libraries do come with multiple mic positions, custom envelopes, and filters and effects. Key Suites Acoustic it normally sells for $199. I'll be sure, of course, to include a link to take you straight over to UVI in the description below, as well as sample library reviews, Keyscape page where we'll have any other reviews, videos we find around the web. All right, I've got uh, Key Suites Acoustic here. You can see we've got these five grand pianos, these six upright pianos, these plucked stringed instruments, and the metallophone. So let us start with some grand pianos. Here's a baby grand. It comes with a basic dry hall, dark, bright, phaser tint, radio effects, romantic, and rotary wheel. Let's just jump into the hall, see what they've done with this. Yeah, it's got a nice sound to it. Um, you can see here we've got filters, amplitude envelope, filters, mod wheel controls for tremolo. That's so we could probably take this out quite a bit further than what a standard piano library would have, just because of the effects. And I feel like we're gonna see that here with some of these uh, different presets. So this is the dark mellow. You can hear we got a little delay. Maybe that's the uh, verb. It's a really nice warm sound. Let's 
go ahead and load up uh, some of these effects ones. Obviously, we can hear that phaser going on here. They've got their Thoris. That's one of their, their chorus that they've developed themselves. Flanger. Rotary. Let's check out the romantic piano. It's called radio effects. It's got kind of that uh, a little bit of a kind of old west honky tonk kind of piano bar sound to me. Let's check out the custom. This is used um, using different samples from all those pianos. Here we've got a couple different mic positions for this one. So we listen to that ribbon. As compared to Yeah, it's a very, it's a warmer sound with that ribbon mic. And then there's this mono mic. So let's just hear the ribbon alone. This is that hybrid piano using the sample sets from all the other uh, grands. Here's a modern bright version of it. I 
do like the character to this one here. You get some nice key uh, sounds too. A little clicking of the keys in there. All right. Had a couple comments about somebody thought I was talking too much. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute, mute my mic and just play through uh, the rest of these grand pianos. really liking the quality of these. It's the C7. If you're not watching and just listening, just playing through the Japanese C7 piano. Oh, this is the grand piano. Just going to play one more of these. I'm really digging these uh, mellow, dark versions myself. And maybe it's because I do a little bit more of the cinematic scoring than I do actually classical piano playing. Um, let's continue on. Here we've got a little delay here set up in the effects rack there. Just one microphone position for this particular preset. You can see we've got quite a few other tone filters on that page. All right, the Model D. Some might call this the piece de resistance for and pianos.
Yeah, it's got just a really beautiful character to it overall. So to uh, one more of these, because I know we've got a lot to go through. Let's just check out the phaser tint. And, you know, it's going to be a little phasey, I'm sure. Moving on to the uprights. Here's the German upright, basic dry. And uh, it's got our main microphone position. Mellow dark. That delay there really adds to the Cinematic nature of the instrument, although, you know, a lot of you, I'm sure, are going to want to turn it off. Moving along, let's listen to the grand upright. Modern and bright. Yeah. how the you know you just never get as much low growl resonance in uprights and they really captured that honky tonk upright boy i wish i knew some honky tonk oh goodness really got an out of tuneness that's lovely. Here's the tact upright. You really get to bite with that those tacts. Tender upright. Let's just do the romantic version of the tender upright. See if I can see play something romantic.
go up high so we can hear those. Like the key sound on that one. And the compact. Let's listen to the basic hall. Yeah, listen to those uh, noise effects, those key and... Nice out of tuneness to this piano, or maybe a natural tuning. Moving on to uh, some of these specialty instruments. So the pluck strings. Here's the clavichord. Let's listen to one of these effecty ones. Here's the radio effects. Yeah, it almost has a 80 synth like quality to that one. And here's our basic dry harpsichord. Again, you hear the nice hammer. And you got a couple mic positions for these basic dry ones. Uh, I'm going to jump ahead here. Here is the Celeste. Something like that. And we got some specialty presets for that one. No, we don't. Just got the uh, main sample set. Uh, here's a dulcitone. Probably take that out quite a bit with the effects there as well. And here we have the Glockenspiel.
And then we get the uh, Pagiano bells. Is that pronounced correctly? Pagiano or Pagiano? Close, closer. And just to play around a tiny bit with the effects. And we got an arpeggiator here. I think that's a nice way to end the first look video. <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed this. I feel like the sample quality is really nice on these. I like that there's a wide range of them. Um, and I am the kind of guy that likes to stick with a toolbox or a collection because once I'm familiar with the engine and once I'm working I don't want to go digging and digging. I, I want to be able to just say, yep, I know this piano uh, will have the sound I'm going for and go right to it. So this Key Suite, Key Suite Acoustic Collection with the 20 different instruments could meet a lot of my piano needs. Um, really enjoyed the sample set. I like the, the noise and pedal noise and uh, re body resonance that they've included in these. I think it adds a lot of life. Um, I think I could get a lot of use. Thanks for taking a little time out of your day. Check out this first look video with me. I hope it's been helpful. Love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Key Suite Acoustic? Is this something you're interested in picking up? I'll of course include a link to take you straight over to UVI in the description below. Like, share, subscribe. Always love your support. Head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deal compressor. <laughs>